Uh, sorry, Nelson. Uh, in fact, uh, the entire board of Disney has been reelected by what they're calling a substantial margin. That just called out by General Counsel Horatio Gutierrez at the uh, annual meeting uh, of the company. So all 12 Disney directors have been reelected. Obviously, uh, it is a victory for Disney, a defeat for Tryon, which had been seeking two seats on the board of directors. They haven't gone through uh, numbers as of yet, but there are the, uh, some that I can provide uh, via sources in terms of uh, uh, overall uh, votes and how many were allocated to uh, various directors. First of all, uh, roughly, I'm told, 70 or, or so percent, perhaps a bit more than that, uh, voted. So roughly 70 percent of the outstanding shares were voted. And of those, for example, 94 percent of the votes uh, or those shares voted uh, were uh, voted in favor of Bob Iger, the company's CEO. The uh, universal proxy, it's different than what we used to do, you know, sort of more like an election it used to be. You've, basically, it's just the top 12 vote getters are on the board. And in this case, they were all Disney directors. Peltz was targeting um, uh, Mary Elena Lagomasino, uh, who goes by Mel. Sources tell me she received 63 percent of the votes that were voted, uh, the shares that were voted, uh, and Peltz received 31 percent. So she more than doubled his total. Uh, obviously, defeat is not something that Tryon has seen that often in its proxy fights. The last one that I can recall was when they lost in DuPont. Of course, they came back not that long after and declared victory uh, when Ellen Coleman left the company. But in that case, the margin of victory was far, far closer uh, for DuPont yeah. than is the case here. Uh, again, uh, Iger gets 94 percent. And there's sort of the important one, because, again, Pulse was challenging for that particular mm -hmm. seat, saying, hey, vote the first 10 and then vote me and vote Jay Rasulo. And he was going after Lago Messino. He didn't win. Uh, she got 63 percent, 31 percent for Peltz. And finally, uh, you know, retail we've talked about because they do comprise a fairly substantial number of the overall shares. But my understanding is here uh, they didn't show up that much. Um, seven or eight percent of the total vote was retail shareholders. Of those retail shareholders who voted, D, again, uh, numbers I'm hearing are as many as 75 percent went with uh, management or with all the Disney directors. So a significant victory yeah. for Disney over Tryon. It sounds like a landslide, David. I mean, 94 percent of votes were in favor of Iger. Did we expect it to be that big of a gap? Well, well you know, it wasn't like Peltz was challenging Iger and saying it's either him or me. So the votes he didn't get were withheld. But it's, that's a significant uh, number saying, yes, mm -hmm. hello, we, we're, we're happy with your performance. Uh, I think, you know, the, the, the key one, though, really is, is the lady at the bottom there, Mary Elena Lagomasino, who goes by Mel. Um, the fact that she more than doubled yeah. uh, um, Peltz's number, at least in these numbers that I'm getting right now. So, again, that, uh, you know, it's over, mm -hmm. over and done with, and uh, they move on. I move on to go to Los Angeles <laughs> so I can sit down with Bob Iger tomorrow morning. Can't Hopefully wait. get there. Can't wait for that. That'll be a good one. Um, you know, David, you say we all get to move on, but you also said that Nelson Peltz isn't used to this kind of defeat. And I remember when he called in to your show live and spoke to you and Jim um, and Carl and said that, you know, he was in favor that Bob Iger was successfully turning the company around only to go back again. Is this truly over or is there more that Nelson Peltz could do here? Could he come back? It, it's, it's hard to imagine he could come back after losing a proxy fight and losing, and, it, and losing it definitively. And we should point out we've got a statement from Tryon saying they're disappointed with the outcome. They greatly appreciate all the support and dialogue they've had with Disney stakeholders and proud of the impact they've had in refocusing, they say, the company on value creation and good governance. And to your point, of course, they had engaged with the company uh, right after uh, Iger had come back. It was brief in terms of how long that fight lasted, because to your point, it was when I interviewed Iger last February, I believe it was, and then Peltz literally followed up minutes later by saying, we're done, but we're going to hang around and watch, and then only to come back, of course. Yeah. This was a much more bitter and long, for, long uh, hard-fought struggle, as you well know, uh, Dee, uh, yeah. but Disney ends up victorious.